now and then, Lord, show me your glory. I want to know you at an entirely different level than I have ever known you before. I want to see a new dimension. I want an encounter with you that I've never had before. I want to see the things my eyes haven't seen before. I want to hear the things my ears have never heard before. I want to come in contact with the thing that haven't even entered into my heart that you said belongs to me. I want an encounter with you. Show me your glory. It's not talking about his presence at this point in time. He is saying, show me something, God. Show me a new side of you. Uh, you are in a bad position, in a bad spot. If you ever get content with God with where you are, if you haven't experienced the fullness of who he is, if you, if you stop being hungry for his presence, you are in a spiritual drought. You are in bad shape. And I'm come this morning to pump life back into you and tell you to get hungry again. Get thirsty again. Get a cry in your spirit again that says, show me your glory. Show me your glory. I want to see you, God. Oh. I'm about to show you some stuff that you have never saw before. Your prayers that you've been praying, I'm about to answer those things because I'm good, glory to God. And me being good is not based on what I do. Me being good is who I am. I am a good God. I am a good, good father. Y'all understand me? Somebody shout, God is good. Not because of what he does, it's because that's who he is. That is his character. That he is a good, good God. Psalms 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the lands serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing and jump down towards the end of the verse. It says, for the Lord is good. The reason why you make a joyful noise unto the Lord, because the Lord is good. The reason why you bless him is because the Lord is good. The reason why you enter into his gate of thanksgiving is because the Lord is good. You understand me? The reason why you praise him is because he is good. Glory. In the midst of your pain, in the midst of your suffering, he is good. That's why you can break out with a praise because you know he is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. That's an invitation for you to see how good he is.